Aaron and Dusty here and welcome back to Eat Move Rest. We are home sweet home in Florida, back from Costa Rica. Yep. We're missing it, but at least we are still surrounded by sunlight and warmth here. Yes, <laughs> glad to be home and constantly reflecting on our almost month back in Costa Rica and thought we just had to share with you guys like we have every year. Yeah, it's fun for us to look back on 
as the kids progress and grow and change and to see how they get to experience Costa Rica through their eyes every year is right. so fun for us, but it's also exciting for us to get to remember everybody who got to join us, who we got to know so well, and it's fun for them to get to share with their families as well. So Right. The big thing for us is we love what we do. This continues to be the most rewarding, the most fun thing that we've maybe done ever in our lives. We've loved to travel since we got together. YouTube has been fun, Instagram, social media, all the things, all the work that we get to do is very rewarding and very fun, but nothing even comes close to the time spent with real people in Costa Rica on retreat. It's like so cool. We literally have left every year with like tears, hugs, and a group of really close friends. Yeah. If I could put it into words, I would say it's almost like a super, super concentrated, potent <laughs> medicine or like superfood. Like right. the entire week feels just so concentrated, like right. the best medicine for the soul that you could ever imagine in yeah. such a short window of time. Yeah. But time really does slow, slow down and almost stand still. Right. Even though like at the end it feels like, wow, that went fast. It's kind of nice to feel like, okay, we're rising with the sun at 5.30, yeah. setting with the sun as well. We're eating dinner early, also around like 5.30 p.m. Yeah, super and early. And it just feels right, and it feels like we're so in sync and so in tune. Everything that we do is so just like, it's nothing earth shattering or groundbreaking. It's right. all very intuitive, but it's the things that we kind of take for granted, yeah. but there we just do all the things and they're free and they're so good for us. Right. I feel like you said it's all free. It's all really basic stuff, but we just don't do it here at home. Simple things that you guys know we've talked about before, sun gazing or spending time in the sun doing simple things like not wearing sunglasses, not wearing shoes. Walking barefoot is like the most incredible meditation, by the way. All of a sudden I forget about all my problems when I'm walking barefoot. All I can do is focus on my next step. Mm -hmm. Fresh water, spring water that's rushing down the mountains of Costa Rica. It's just a clean place and we feel it with the food the fruit that's dripping off the trees that we get to eat with our hands on the beach. It's just like super basic, free things that nature gives us that here in the States, like Aaron said, we have to like pay so much money for. It's like everybody, everybody is figuring out how to monetize these things. Right. So we've got our red light <laughs> therapy machines to simulate the same red light we get from watching a beautiful sunset. Right. And there are like earthing pads you put under your feet while you're at your work desk to make <laughs> right. sure you're getting your grounding in. Right. And everything has like a fancy name now too. Like yeah. rather than just walking on the beach barefoot enjoying the sunset, it's yeah. called sun gazing. Right. And going barefoot and playing with your kids outside is called grounding or right, earthing and right. taking a hike is now called forest bathing, forest bathing and my then favorite. like swimming in the waterfall we now have our cold plunge that right. you know you have to spend money on to get right. it here to get it right and, and we're just replicating yeah we're replicating what is so easy so natural there and it's all free and it's all right there and this is how so many people in Costa Rica live. Mm -hmm. It's just seems kind of like it's not fair, but that's why we go there every year to host these retreats. Oh, thank you. So similar to last year, this year we hosted two retreats, each yeah. a week long, and we had one week off in between where we right. got some downtime as a family of four, yep. vacation style, something so that fun. we don't take the time to do often enough and it was much needed. Yeah. But then after that we were like, okay, we need people again. We're so excited for round two. Right. Both groups were amazing and just so open and willing to share so much of themselves with us with us. Which, you know, we eat and do amazing things, but like sometimes it's the inside work and just the, the connection that we get that really makes these retreats what they are. So yeah, we're eating tons and tons of raw foods. In the yeah. mornings, we start our day with fresh juices and smoothies and fresh tropical fruit, all chopped and diced for us. Yeah. And then throughout the day, we're usually on the go and we enjoy more fresh fruit as well as things like carrots and veggie sticks, collard wraps. So we eat raw till essentially and then at yep. dinner time we come back for amazing salads 
paired with delicious around the world global type of meals right. from everything from Thai to Indian to Greek. Yep. And every meal is so unique and distinct and equally as amazing as the one from the night before. That's like one of the best parts for me. Obviously connecting with people. Hiking is like my favorite too. Surfing, we did some surfing that this year. That was awesome. That was new. But let's be honest, not having to cook for a full week <laughs> and have it be the most epic vegan food mm -hmm. is like so amazing. Like it meets all of our criteria. So good. So we don't even have to worry about it. It's like right. when you go out to a date night restaurant anywhere, <laughs> usually you have to like sacrifice right. something like, okay, I guess I'll eat oil tonight because right. we're usually oil free. but. At Farm of Life, everything is just like better than what we could do ourselves, which is so hard good. to find. <laughs> Chef Ariana has been there for a couple of years now. We had Lacey in the past. Literally, every all of the chefs have always been so amazing. And everybody that comes, like, they're in tears, not just because of what the friendships made and the experiences we have, but because, like, people, like, we get each other, right? Mm -hmm. And it's such a big deal to people to finally have, like, community where you're not like judged for being a vegan or yes, like Aaron said, spending all this time having to tell people how to properly prepare your food. <laughs> it's just done right and it's done well. It allows a lot of space freed up for us to do some of the inner deeper work and right. healing. We do things like sound baths, breath work, right. meditation. We do a game night where we all get to do things with each other and for each other that we yeah. never even knew that we needed. Things like physical touch that we really take for granted or disregard completely. Um, right. So it's, it's just, there's a lot of healing that takes place. There's always tears that are shed by us right. and by everybody else at some point in the week. I think it's very unexpected to many of our retreat guests, but yep. also much appreciated. People don't realize how much they had inside that really needed to come out and get worked on. Right. And it's not necessarily a healing retreat. It's not like you have to be like damaged or have all this work to do. We all show up excited about things like hiking and yoga and yes, the amazing food. But we quickly realize, like Aaron said, we do a lot of hugging. We do a dance party. We like laugh, we cry. It goes really deep, really fast. Just like in the evenings after dinner, we hang out and we have these talks and everybody opens up. It seems like everybody has either gone through something or is currently going through something and there is a lot of healing and connecting that happens. And like I said before, it has very quickly become the most meaningful thing that we do mm -hmm. for work, for fun, just in our lives are these retreats for that reason. Getting to connect with people that follow us, that we now know, it's so much fun. In fact, one of the couples that came on the retreat had actually come to look at our house because they're interested in building a house in Florida. After talking a little bit about our retreats, they very quickly got all their ducks in a row and came to the last retreat, which was so fun. Now they're coming to see us again. We've seen friends on our road trips, like out to California who came on our retreats. And again, it's just been so much fun to connect and we can't wait to do more. So over the years, we have also developed a strong friendship with Brian and Jody, the retreat center owners. Yep. They're actually trying to sell Farm of Life. So if you're interested, <laughs> be sure to send us a message or message them. Everything is linked below in the description. Right. But that being said, we did an interview with Brian recently yep. on our channel, just a couple videos ago. So right. be sure to click that as well. Brian goes into some deep wisdom, things that we learn about on the retreat center. For example, I think most people come to the retreat looking to lose weight or detox right. or find some kind of healing through food. Yeah. When in reality, he tells us you can eat the most pristine raw food diet, but if you're not working on forgiveness and yeah. unconditional self-love, which yeah. the two go kind of hand in hand, right. then you're not gonna find the true root of where your healing needs to take place. So right. it's really cool just to kind of keep that in mind that we can eat, move, rest our best, which right. is what we <laughs> preach. But the reason we preach that is to help you to get that dialed in so you don't have to focus so hard on making healthy choices. Right. And it frees up a lot more mental capacity to be able to do that inside work. The inside work, right? We all live above our shoulders. Like we spend 90% of our time above our shoulders 
and we need to be more in our body. We need to free our mind and get our mental health sorted out, like Brian was saying. It took him many, many years to clean up his diet, yes, but he said until he worked on forgiveness and his mental health, did he really, really, truly heal? And so that's been also fun for us, like we said before. We're going far beyond the plate on these retreats, which is super fun. If you watch that interview that Aaron did with Brian, you can tell he is a well of information. It's so fun to listen to him, and everybody loves his farm tour. Listening to him talk about the farm, planting all the tropical fruit trees, the herb garden, like everything that they've done is so fascinating, and it really really opens our eyes to how food can be medicine. That's another really fun part for us mm -hmm. is that he's got a tea made every night. Something that's going to work on a certain part of the body or fix a certain ailment each of us have. It's like he has a plant for everything. I'm always super inspired when they tell the story about finding the land yeah. and how they had this grand plan to create Farm of Life and everybody said nope. Right. This is why this won't work. This is why this won't work. You'll never be able to cultivate the land and grow food there. Right. And they were met with so many naysayers and they did it. Sometimes you just have to put blinders on and go for it. And that's kind of what we tell our retreat guests too. They're like, tell us about this, tell us about that. And when we get on the initial call, we're like, hey, we don't want to tell you too much because like sometimes it's fun to just jump in to these experiences. That's how it's been for the last, what, seven retreats now. We went back to Amy's on each of our retreats, which we've done every year. She had actually sent me video footage of Jaguars like on her property. She also told us her stories about getting bit by two poisonous snakes and it's like, wow, we really are deep in the jungle, but it makes you feel so alive. It's so amazing. Her place especially is always like a special treat. It's just a wealth of information and it kind of flips your worldview upside down and oh. makes you question everything you've ever known. Like she doesn't use a running toilet. She goes, <laughs> she calls it human fertility. Right. And you know, asks the trees on her property, like which one wants the fertility today? Right. So when you think about all of the waste that we produce as humans oh and where is it all going? It's right. going out to the ocean, which makes no sense. We are yep. land beings and it should be left to the land to continue to nourish the soil totally. and the flora and fauna that grows there. She's growing her own organic food and then providing it back to the community. Yep. She sleeps under the sun, moon, and stars. It's right. just really cool to hear how she has literally questioned everything she's ever been told. She bathes in the river right down the mountain from her home every day. It's so inspiring. Everybody, like Erin said, loves that tour. We make our own sugarcane juice. We look at her amazing, like, indoor outdoor home and it's just so fun a, a really eye-opening alternative to life as we know it which is what we're all about like how could we do things better simpler more natural and amy <laughs> is really doing it well so i think the most challenging thing for me at the retreats especially as a breastfeeding mom <laughs> is feeling like i'm attached at the nip all the time <laughs> And I keep telling Dusty, one of these days we will do the retreat solo, just right. as a couple. And I'm gonna get in those bunk rooms and right. stay with the other <laughs> retreat guests. And because, do the big hike with us. Yeah, at a yeah. certain point, I do feel a little bit like limited. Yeah. So I really, really do my best to be present and to get to know everybody. But you yeah. know, then it's like, okay, now it's meal time and I have to feed the kids right. while trying to entertain and chat with people. Yeah. And you know, staying back a couple times here and there to breastfeed and being late for something. Right. So I just am trying to be okay with it because I know that's the season of life that we're currently in. Yeah. And I honestly wouldn't change it for the world because it is really special getting to see the kids grow up in that environment every totally. year and it challenges all of us. I know it's scary for a lot of people to think about going on vacation with their kids, especially right. to a different country. Um, it's been so fun though, with, especially for Max now because he's he was, he's was he been there five times, all five years. His first year he was three months old and he is getting so good with people and that's something that we really are excited at, about and proud of him for because he's like, wandering out without us and talking to our retreat guests and laughing and it's super fun for us and that's great 
And I want that for everybody else too. Right. Which is why like the family thing we want to has family. to happen. We will yeah. figure it out. <laughs> we will figure it out. I will say the big hike day is like my favorite day. Erin thinks it's because she's not there. Because <laughs> I stay me, back with the kids. Right. We do like our own fun pool day, right. hike day. There's just, always a few people that stay back because um, it is a very big strenuous hike and some people are like ah not for me today so a few people stay back you guys usually chill do massage pool day but for me i get all my gear i get <laughs> strapped up and we do the big day hike we have a few hikes on the on the trip and on the retreats and those are like my favorite because it's again i get to be active sweating outside climbing mountains it's like the dream for me so yeah the week off was incredibly refreshing and yes. so much fun and the thing that stands out at top of mind for me <laughs> is my surf lesson so dusty had done a couple so surf awesome. lessons previously but it was my turn to try learning how to <laughs> surf was conquering a huge fear but also fulfilling a huge dream of mine so right. i had to make it happen the waves there are not always the friendliest, but <laughs> thankfully I had a really awesome instructor yep. and had such a blast and I really surprised myself that I was able it's to actually get up. And yeah. then I think I got up on my like third try and then after that <laughs> I had several successful rides. I've always wanted to surf. I feel like in another life I was a California girl that <laughs> surfed all the waves all the time. Right. So now we're like, well darn it, there's no, there's no waves where we're at in Florida. So right. I'm trying to figure that out. We fell even deeper in love with Costa Rica like we do every year. If you guys have watched our recaps from other previous years, you know that from the very first time we set foot in Costa Rica, we fell in love. And every year we return, we find new things that make us love it even more. Surfing, yes, was one of them. We both got on the board a couple days and had so much fun. The mountains crashing into the sea with the coconut palms like on the beach, there's really no place like it on earth. And it's so, such a vibe. The kids spent all week basically in the pool we went to the beach like every day, came home and jumped in the pool. Some days they got out of bed and got straight in the pool, which was super fun for us to just get that time to like really chill. It was good downtime for us. Some of our favorite times were like when we got out on the road and did some exploring. We went to a couple of cool restaurants. Super good. And the nice thing is every single place had very fresh food with right at least a handful of vegan options. There was always an outlook. So that's something right. that's kind of missing here in Florida. It's so flat here. Yeah. Not that we're complaining about living in Florida, but the cool <laughs> thing about Costa Rica was getting to be up high and looking out onto these beautiful views of the ocean and right. the beach. And it was just insane. It was so cool. We went to a couple of cool animal sanctuaries. Again, new ones that we didn't see last year, which was super fun for the kids, especially to see the rescued monkeys and toucans and all the fun animals. So especially during our week off of downtime, when we were fending for ourselves again, having to make our own meals, we were so stoked to find Sun Warrior at Mama Toucans. So it was this cute little organic shop with everything we needed, all the tropical fruits and superfoods. And lo and behold, behind the checkout counter was like the shrine to Sun Warrior. They had any and every protein Sun Warrior has to offer. Love that they're organic and raw, simple, straightforward ingredients, and they get the job done. They make our smoothies taste better and they keep us super energized and fueled. You guys know you can get a discount with Eat Move Rest. You can get 20% off. It is linked below in the description. And if you guys are in the Dominical area of Costa Rica, we highly recommend checking out Mama Toucans. We could literally go on and on about these retreats, they're so much fun. But we've got what, probably four Costa Rica retreat recap videos oh already. Gosh. If you guys wanna right. go back and watch some of the other ones. Yes, definitely but do that. But for anyone who hasn't before, we have to kind of lay it all out for you guys right. so you know <laughs> what, what it's like. And we haven't done a retreat anywhere other than Costa Rica and Nebraska, I guess. Right. But that was like a short home. weekend retreat. We definitely wanna go back to Costa Rica but like Aaron said, being that they're, they're trying to sell Farm of Life, we may not get the opportunity to go back there. We are also planning an Italy retreat that was going to be sooner this year, but we're actually also thinking that's gonna be next spring. 
So if you guys are interested at all in joining us on any one of these upcoming retreats, we're gonna have a little form to fill out on the website, fill that out, we'll get in touch. We'll start to communicate back and forth and give you all the details on either Costa Rica or Italy or anything else that we have coming up for next year. Which on that note, we're also highly considering a Florida retreat, maybe right. even shorter duration. It yes. would obviously be more affordable for many of our followers in the U.S. Yep. And something family friendly. So right. <laughs> if or when we do a Florida retreat, it will most definitely be family friendly. Right. We might just have to build it from the ground up by finding right. an Airbnb that will hold 10 to 15 people. But yeah. we'll We've get got it figured the friends. out. we got friends now that can do you know, the lead the yoga or the breath work and chefs. We have everybody. We might just have to put it together, rent a big cool house like Aaron said. But the main thing is doing it local and for a shorter amount of time, we can have moms with babies, you know, and, and I, families, which would be really yeah. fun. I feel for a lot of you who have asked over the years, can right. I bring my baby? And due to liability reasons, it hasn't been possible on our international retreats. Right. But I know the feeling. There have been several events and just little weekend retreats where I'm not able to bring live. And right. breastfeeding is very important to me. Not just that, but the co-sleeping and yeah. just the bonding. It's all really important. And especially when you're going on a big trip, a lot of you know families want to share those experiences together. So totally. we get it. We need to do both. We need to do a affordable shorter duration US retreat and we need to continue doing our international retreats for a little bit longer time because if, if you're gonna fly and travel all that way you might as well stay a week or so one criteria that is certain yeah we will be eating moving and resting our best similar to Costa Rica <laughs> totally. so similar meal plans will be in store similar yep. fitness plans maybe something a little more challenging at times I do want to lead some hit classes. maybe some cold plunges I yes. need to get some cold plunges in the next so retreat. it will be and you know obviously a different location like Italy is gonna be a totally different vibe right equally as amazing in just a totally different way so i'm really excited to just kind of explore new territory me too i want to do costa rica will always be a special place and we want to go back there but i'm really wanting to go to italy for sure next year kayaking the amalfi coast cold plunges maybe more of a resort feel maybe a little less rustic if you guys are interested in coming with us on future retreats like we said before we'll have a link where you can fill out a form and said hey i'm interested in either costa rica or italy or whatever we have planned let's hop on a zoom call let's meet and let's look forward to the months ahead because yes, we have more retreats coming. And if you guys are interested in any of the recipes that you may have spied on our Instagram stories yes. or on this video yep. and you would like a recipe, we will be glad to share some of them in our YouTube videos. For sure. We actually just made a peanut stew. It's oh an gosh. African peanut stew very similar to the one we have on the first night, I right. think, at Farm of Life. Right. So if you guys are interested in all of these recipes, you can always check out the Eat and Rest meal planner. Yep. We have many similar recipes. And like I said, if you want us to share anything specific that you spotted, yep. let us know in the comments. Our recipe app and meal planner are on both Apple Store and Google Play. Download the app, get all of our recipes, meal planner, grocery list generator, calorie counter. I mean, it's got everything, our meal yep. planner. And and it's so growing awesome. every single month we're adding new recipes Always. log on check that out it's been helping a ton of people like we said before visit all the links in the description below get in touch with us we can't wait to keep doing what we're doing we feel so blessed this has been great much love we'll see you guys next week until next time eat move rest your best bye, <laughs> bye guys there are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better eat move and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within. 